Okay, so I'm um, here working on my Arduino Do. Anyway, um, serial USB. So that's a thing you can use on the Arduino Do. Um, of course, you can just use the normal serial.begin and serial.print, but um, on the Arduino Do, people like to use serial USB. And the reason for that is it's faster, right? But why is it faster? Why why would serial USB be faster than the normal serial that all the other Arduinos have? And so I decided to investigate that um, today, and I figured it out using Wireshark. So I'm going to share how I did that, and um, it's pretty cool. So I hope it'll be enlightening to anyone who isn't already aware of how it works. So yeah, basically what we're going to do is a little experiment. There'll be two scripts we have, or whatever, two sketches. We have one for the do, and then I also have a sketch for the uno, a similar one that just uses the normal serial, um, serial begin and serial write. So, let's download these to the two boards. Um, let me switch over the do to the programming port right here. You can hear the USB disconnect. And there's the new one. So, board, Arduino do programming port. We'll upload this sketch here. It'll take a second because it's kind of slow. No device found in COM3. Of course there isn't. It's because it's COM6. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's uploaded. And now we'll set up PuTTY. Uh, you can use PuTTY to receive serial data. Um, of course you can use the Arduino serial monitor um, but I don't think that the serial monitor receives any data from when you use serial USB. It doesn't really connect to the serial monitor. So, yeah, use PuTTY. Um, it's free and easy to use. Um, so, basically, you click serial right here, and you enter what COM port you want to connect to, which you can see right here. Um, so, COM6 is the programming port. Let me switch this over to the native USB port. The Arduino Do has two USB ports, and serial USB uh, means your data is going on the native USB port. So you can see COM4 is the native USB port. Hit that. Switch this to COM4. The speed doesn't matter. Open this, and there's our connection. This is the Arduino Do repeating that message. Cool. So now let's do this for the Arduino Uno. We have to switch the board back over. Arduino Uno. Port COM3 or you know, perfect. Upload that. Great, so that's uploaded now. We'll set up the putty. And this will just be COM3 because uh, the Arduino Uno only has one port. And the speed does matter for this 9600, 9600. Good, so we can open the port. There's our message. This is the Arduino Uno. So now here's where the the fun stuff starts to happen. So we have our plain data going through just as we would expect, but now we want to see what is the difference. And we can do that using Wireshark. So here's Wireshark. I will start a new um, capture. And it's capturing right now. Now everything that's on USB is being captured, including my mouse. So if I move my mouse, you can see some mouse packets. Stop the capture now. Now let's take a look at the, the packets. So uh, if you're unfamiliar with Wireshark, here's a little overview. Basically you have the number, uh, just kind of a, you know, the number of the packet that was received, the time that was received, the source, the destination, the protocol, all, they're all USB obviously, um, and a little bit more information. So if we click on a packet, we'll click on this one right here. Now I know for a fact that 2.1.2 is my mouse. So we, we can kind of just ignore these. They're, they're not very interesting. But if I scroll down, find 2.11.3, this is the Uno. So this packet is coming from the Arduino Uno going to the host, which is my computer. And here's the information contained in this packet, this little thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'll filter by selected. And let's just look through some of these. So here we're looking at this packet right now and it's saying the now we'll go to the next packet space 
Ard. Space. We know. Un. O. Oh, the. This. That wasn't the. Was this is. See, it's kind of hard to read these because the message is broken up into four characters at a time. You can see one, two, three, four characters. So that's the maximum number of characters that'll go through each USB packet when you're using an Arduino Uno or just using the normal serial command, the normal serial, the not serial USB, uh, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, these are what the packets look like. Not particularly interesting, I guess, but um, it's really good to know how this data is going through um, because the USB protocol is different than just serial protocol. Remember, on your Arduino Uno, the at mega 328 is sending the data out as a as a serial, like a UART, but um, the 16U2 that's on the board is converting that into the USB protocol. So the data looks much different in the USB form, and that's, that's what I want to point out here, is that this is not plain um, UART data. This is a USB protocol that's formatted and has lots of information and a very short little bit of data. <laughs> so now let's take a look at the DUE. The DO, not the DUE. Now, first we have to find the do, um, because you can see most of these packets look like they're coming from the UNO. And that makes sense, because the UNO has to send quite a few of them, since every packet only can hold four characters. So, you know what, I'll, I'm just going to see if I can see what that does. So we got rid of those. Uh, let's see what this is. Here it is. 2.15.3 is the do. And these are all the packets we got for the do. And you can see this is the data in the packet, and it says this is the Arduino do. So what's interesting about it is the entire message is in one packet. And obviously that's a lot more efficient because now you don't have to send like five or six packets to get this message through. It can all go through at once. And the reality about USB is you can actually send a much larger message than this in one packet. There is a maximum limit. You can't send an infinitely large packet, but you can send a pretty large packet with a lot of data in it. And that's really good because you can only get so many packets through. So when we're programming Arduinos, a lot of times when we're, we're having enough trouble or when we're having trouble getting enough data through, we like to make this as big as it can go, which on an Uno, um, that's about as big as it goes. Um, any, any more than that, and you're going to start losing, you, you know, your data is going to be all corrupted and weird. So usually this is about as high as people go. Um, but at the end of the day, that only establishes the connection between the 328P and the 16U2 on your board. Um, the actual data that's going down your USB line, that's all USB packets, and you can only let so many packets through because the USB host, your computer, can only accept so many packets at a time. So let's see how many packets it can take in. And we can look at that by the looking at the entire list of packets we captured and looking at the times we received them in. So here is one from, well, these are from the mice, um, but we'll go back to the UNO. So here the UNO sends a packet at uh, 7.231 and it sends another packet at 7.231. Um, it, it looks like it sends these packets kind of in, in bunches of two because you can see this one contains some text and then the next one is always blank. So I think it sends each packet as a, a bunch of two, which makes a little bit of sense maybe, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know enough about it. So yeah, here we'll look at this one. So basically these two packets are connected and then these two packets are connected. And you can see these both happen at basically the same time, 7.231, then the next packet, 7.235. So four milliseconds between these two packets. And if we look at the next one, it's pretty similar. We go from 235 to 239, another four milliseconds. 239 to 244, uh, so that one is about five milliseconds. So basically you can only send four characters, because that's how many is in a packet, every four milliseconds, or about one character per millisecond, um, which is pretty low. Now, with the do, we'll see if I can find that one again. 
I think I saw it. There it is. Now we'll assume that we can send one packet every four milliseconds. So this is, um, I don't know, let's say that's 25 characters. And if you can send a packet every four milliseconds, 25 characters per four milliseconds, that's about six characters per second rather than, or six uh, characters per millisecond rather than one. So basically you get a much higher throughput and the throughput obviously increases the bigger you can make your packets. So you want to make your packets as big as possible and you want to use serial USB whenever you're programming for the do because that will put all the data in one packet and give you the highest throughput with your PC. Cool, so that's really all I have to say about this. Um, it's pretty cool to see this finally and understand exactly what's going on and I hope this is enlightening to someone else who's trying to figure this out on their own. Um, and yeah, um, I, maybe this didn't answer all your questions but I hope that it at least pointed you in the right direction um, for finding out the answers to whatever questions you have concerning how the USB protocol works with Arduinos. Cool, well thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.